tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-N-R-G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on a set of Corsa. We're back into a set of Corsa on the Xbox One. Definitely been wanting to get back, so we decided to uh, hop into a random drift server. We got our E30 M3 that we are able to drive, so we're loading into it. I think there's four other people in this server, so definitely going to have a little fun with that. We got our Logitech G920 set up. NRG Innovation 350 millimeter wheel. We got our handbrake wired in and ready to go here on a Seto, and as well as our Logitech shifter in our NRG bucket seat with the uh, rig all moves and you know upgraded with the bigger monitor and such. I'll be doing a full breakdown on the new rig here soon, as well as building a sequential mod so I can actually race the uh, race cars in a set of Corsa because I do want to get more into a set of Corsa because the physics are a lot nicer in a Seto. So we are going to have to modify our setup a little bit. I know that for a fact. I think we're just going to go into tires, put on street 90s, and we're going to increase camber a little bit, and we're going to go from there. So we're going to get the wheel cam turned on. And we are going to, uh, we're going to shred it here in the center of the e brake is set up. I don't think we have our e-brake wired in correctly. So, let's change that real quick. I believe I did not put the right wires in. There we go. I had to flip my wires around a little bit, but... We have our e-brake now, so we are good. And uh, let's see if we can actually get some slides here to set up back. It's been definitely a minute since I've been on a set up, but we should be good to uh, just get these slides and uh, not too bad right off the start, except for right there. My hands are a little bit sticky. It is a little, uh, a little warm here today in the 90s so uh i'm gonna get the gloves on so that we can not stick to our wheel that's better looks like we got some two days out here Let's see if we can't run this line if that screw gets out of the way uh so definitely been a minute since i've been on a set -o, so Trying to get back into the swing of things. See if we can't slide through this other 30 that's over here. Armor 2003. What about what line he's running? Oh, you stuffed it! Oh. And then I tried to follow right behind him. So it's definitely fun being back in a set of Corsa. I'm gonna have to uh, try and get some lobbies going here on a set with some uh, with some people. Let's see if I can get some uh, subscribers here on a set and uh, do some uh, a set of open lobbies. Try and get some tangents in a set I'm still trying to get back into the field. See, I'm throwing it like I would a uh, Forza 7, so I definitely need to uh, get my bearings back in a set up before I uh, decide to do <laughs> an open lobby. That's a little better. I keep snapping back way too fast. So, if you guys play a set on the Xbox One, let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys want to do some a set of drifting lobbies. Because I would be down to get more a set of tandems. I just wish my PC rig was working correctly that I could run a set of mods, but I'm definitely having a bit of a hard time right now. Maybe we'll try outside, maybe that'll help. 
Probably not. It'll probably be worse because of the way the camera runs. We're gonna try it though. Having a hood view, so I think I think we need to go in hood view and uh, or the view without the steering wheel. I'm still trying to get my bearings back, so there we go. Probably should adjust my camera view a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna go back to pits and we're gonna adjust the camera view. So, go to pits, adjust cockpit view, and we are going to center this up as much as we can. I wish this would go faster. I really do wish that the centering or the adjusting of the cockpit views would go a lot faster, but unfortunately they do not. So I'm going to try and center this, get it up on the roof, so I will catch you guys back once I get this set up back on top of the roof. Alright, well, so apparently a setup online decided to boot me from the server, and my server will not come back up. So we are just going to try and get our bearings set in the E30 in an actual drift uh, event and see how many points we can get with this car. See if we can actually keep our time going on this event as far as we can to get back into this. There we go. Kind of get the feel back on the car. There we go. Could probably be a lot smoother, but trying to get the feel back. There we go. The G but we're good. Getting more time. See how high of a level we can get if you guys have done this drift challenge. What's the highest level you guys got? Nice, going to the wall. It's actually the nicest run I think I've done through that section in a while. Don't lose any of these, don't lose all these points. Please don't. Oh, I thought we were going to lose all those points. So let me know what the highest level you guys got in this Rift Challenge E30. Let me know down below. I actually have never really done this, so this is kind of a, a first time for me. Uh, doing this drift challenge. Try not to break everything because I totally forgot that this game has full damage on trans and everything like that. It's not like Forza if you accidentally miss shifts. You don't screw up too bad, but in SNO you do. This as much as we can. This way. Sliding physics and the wheel physics are so much nicer in the center than, say, 4 to 7, but it's definitely something to get used to. It can be a lot smoother in the uh, center, I did notice, until that happens. Because we lose points. So we're still doing this as much as we can. We do have a uh, pretty decent level going until right there. I thought I was going to be able to hold that, but I was definitely not able to hold that line. Like I said, I really wish the camera angle allowed you to save it and it would go back to that every time you were in that car, but something is always screwing with camera angles for me. That's pushing a little bit forward, and it will not let me keep my hood view that I like, but unfortunately, I'm just going to send this as much as I can. Go throttle. on this right now, looking around different places that I wouldn't normally run, little sections that I wouldn't normally run, until we almost lose it. So we are at level 12 now, so that's pretty sweet. Let me keep that 
out. We'll go to 13. I think we're to these lines out. So if you guys like a settle on the Xbox One, let me know down below. I know a lot of people prefer a settle on the PC. Like I said, I wish my PC rig was working correctly because then I would be running PC mods, but it is not working correctly. I'm trying to get the PC rig up and running better. I don't think I'm going to make that. Um, somehow we made it though. I really wish we could watch a replay, and I think we can, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check at the end of this. We're just throwing some mad freestyle right now in this E30. Oh, we're gonna lose all those points. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. So, trying to get back into the feel of a set out here on the Xbox One with the full wheel rig. Kind of getting a little bit used to it now. Trying to let the wheel do as much self steer as it can. So you can't really do that that much in more than this one. You can kind of kind of let it self steer and catch it. But I tried to get greedy with the angle on that one. So we are only at level 14. I'm pretty sure there's other people on me here that have been a much higher level. Than I have, but like I said, I haven't played a set in forever. A lot of Forza 7, so it's definitely a different feel. The feel is nice for sure. Switch up views. Find a little bit of outside view. The outside camera view is definitely a lot different than Forza 7. Because Forza 7, I love driving the outside view. Here in the set of the outside views are definitely a lot different and a lot harder to drive in. Oh, these Street 90 tires have no grip there. We stalled it, we only got 50 seconds left, so we're going to have to try to get some more points on the board to keep our time going. Level 17, 16,000 points. Definitely could probably do a lot better here on Assetto, but just giving it a shot. So if you guys want to see more Assetto course on the channel, don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe to the channel. Going to make a shout out here to an individual who sent me a message. Sedan Squad 4 door 33 talking to ask me if I'm going to be back on Assetto. And I told him I did, and he used my video to modify his wheels. So big shout out to you. Sedan Squad 4 Door 33. Definitely looking forward to getting some doors with you and other subscribers. So, you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. So, until next time, guys, like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.